Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So I did these opal nails recently that was inspired by um, this gorgeous opal ring from Just a Ring Thing. So Charlotte makes all of these rings by hand and everything is custom made. Um, I'll leave her Instagram link down below but as soon as I saw this opal I knew I had to have it look at all the colours and the depth to it. So I really wanted to do um, some nails that were inspired by the ring. So if you want to find out how to do this layered opal look, then just stay tuned. So the first thing that I've done is done a layer of Uma Days and I've cured that for 60 seconds. So I'm just going to do my second layer of colour and I'm going to double cure this for two minutes. So first thing that we're going to be using is some of the Magpie foil. This is Peggy Sue. Then I'm also going to be using Magpie Glitter Dolly. Some of the Magpie Flakes in Periwinkle. And also some more flakes in Bloom. So you can kind of see, hopefully, that sort of under parts of the ring here, like sort of the lower layer of the opal, there is some of the like rock which looks quite goldy. So this is the first section that we're going to be doing um, is this kind of under layer of rock. So by double curing our tacky layer of our gel, just means that we can apply a little bit of foil. We don't need a lot, but I want to apply it sort of up here to the um, cuticle area. And I'm just gently dabbing and ripping that off like that that's all I want so then I'm going to grab Uma Days again and I'm going to really wipe off the product from my brush so we've got a really really small amount and I just want to do a layer over the top so and as you can see that's kind of mattifying it um, a little bit So it's just kind of mattified that foil nicely, but you can still see it coming through. So I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds in my lamp. So then the next layer that we're going to be doing is you can see all this blue light sort of coming through. So this is why I chose Dolly, because this glitter has that kind of blue light effect. So I'm just going to pour some into my lid and I'm gonna get my Magpie applicator brush. So I'm just going to put some of Dolly on top of that gel color that's been cured. And I'm just gonna give it a little rub on top and I'm gonna grab my Magpie duster brush and I'm gonna dust off the excess. So we're burnishing the glitter in because we just want it to add that blue light effect. Then I'm going to use my Give Me Strength and pop a layer of this over the top of the glitter. So you can really see that blue light coming through. It looks exactly like the opal blue light effect coming through. Then I'm going to grab my periwinkle flakes and whilst the Give Me Strength layer is wet, I'm just going to pop a very small amount on the top using my Magpie detailer brush. We only want a few of these. We don't want a huge amount of the flakes. So I've just kind of put them in this kind of middle section in a diagonal way, like that, making sure they're all nice and flat. 
then I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds in my lamp. So, and then hopefully you guys can see there's kind of a bit of like a turquoisey colour coming through in the corners. So this is why I want to use a bit of the bloom because you can kind of see a similar colour in the flakes as you can in those turquoise sections. So again, just tip in a really small, small amount into the lid. So I just want to add a really small amount of the flakes just into these corners like that and you can see it's adding that real um turquoise color so then on top of here i'm going to add just a bit more of the dolly glitter just basically dabbing it over and then getting my duster brush and just going to brush off the excess so the dolly glitter is just applying itself into the cracks where any of the flakes haven't got to then i'm going to get the magpie get foiled and i'm just going to put a layer on top and this needs to be cured now for two minutes in the magpie lamp. So, and just the final section is obviously going to be this type of gold rock that's on the top layer of the opal here, just to kind of finish off the, um, the look. So we just want to be adding the foil to this sort of corner down here and a little touch up the top there. So just going to dab really quickly to that top section and then obviously doing the um, bottom section down here like that so then I'm just going to grab my give me strength again and I'm just going to do a nice layer over the top to seal everything in the foil, the flakes, the glitter. And obviously going to just look down the side view of the nail to make sure that everything is nice and smooth, especially because we did the flakes. I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds in my lamp. So, and then I'm going to use the new Like a Diamond Magpie Top Coat. So this is a tacky top coat so you will need to cleanse this with the magpie cleanser um but it's super shiny and um, it's also hema free um so it's also quite thick in consistency so it's great for um encapsulating glitters or anything like that but it's my new um favorite top coat i love using this so just getting like a diamond top coat and I'm just going to put a nice amount over the top to finish off this nail and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds in my lamp. So once that's been cured, just getting some cleanse on my pad and just do a little wiggle and drag down to cleanse the surface. So there you have a gorgeous layered opal effect that obviously matches this ring. So I hope that you liked this tutorial guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye.